governor's son. Like father, like son. Yeah, yeah. The governor's son. Son. Yes, Dad. I want you to listen to me carefully. There will be no wisdom letting you remain in the country given the present political situation here in the country. Please, just travel overseas. Just go. Dad, why do you always see me as that little boy you used to know? I'm now a full-grown man. I can take good care of myself. Why are you doubting my maturity? Son, I'm not doubting your maturity. I know you're a big boy. Yes, I know. But I'm just being security conscious. I presume you are aware that the elections are just by the corner. And I have less than a year to spend as the governor of the state. That's where I'm concerned. I know all that, Father. But it still means nothing to me. Son, please. Please. I want you to help me fight this fight from outside the country. If you're hurt, I'm hurt. If I'm the target and they get you, they've gotten me. And I wouldn't want anything bad to happen to you. Please, son, just go. With all due respect, Dad, I can't just travel abroad because elections are by the corner. I will stay here and fight this fight with you. Trust me, nothing bad will happen to me. Even if anything happens to me, you still have my two younger sisters abroad to hold on to. Oh, no, no, no. Nothing would happen to you. God forbid it. Nothing bad will happen to you. You know, you're my only son. Yes, you are. You know, but son, I want you to think about what I just told you. Think about it. There's every wisdom to you going away. Please. Good afternoon, Your Excellency. How did it go? Um, very smooth, Your Excellency. Very smooth. Good. How many people were on board? Just one, Your Excellency. The main target. High Chief Molu. High Chief Molu. You underrated my seriousness. No one dares the lion and goes scot free. Uh, but, boss. We almost missed our target, but thank our stars we did a very nice work before embarking on the adventure. Thank your stars, because you know how much I hate mistakes. High Chief Wall thinks he can run back to London after generating more enemies for my father and his successor. Nice one, boys. But trust me, we still have more to do. No problem, no problem. You can go. The governor's son. Like father, like son. Yeah, yeah. The governor's son. The governor's son. Like father, like son. Yeah, yeah. The governor's son. Like father, like son. Yeah, yeah. Go to a bomb ship. It's a useless goat. Yeah, yeah. Ship where bomb go to. It's a useless ship. Yeah, yeah. Them they do. What if people no like you? Then they chop money. Like say now nah, their money. Oh, the governor in his son. Them be stupid people. Then they make shakara. Their time don't go. Oh, the governor's son. Like father, like son. The governor's son. Like father, like son. Go to a bond ship. It's a useless go. Good afternoon, everyone. The governor's son is around and he wants to do some shopping himself. So, everyone, get outside. Out! Jesus. 
Didn't you hear that the governor's son is around? Eh? Of course I heard you. But I'm not done with my shopping. I still have a couple of things to buy. Even when you've been told that the governor's son is around? Are you mad? What are you still doing here? Excuse me. I don't see how my being here makes the space insufficient to accommodate the governor's son. I am a medical doctor by profession and a bona fide citizen of this country. I know my right. You both can't just infringe on my fundamental human right. Okay, Mr. Medical Doctor, you still have time to stand here and speak grammar. Yes, you are Get out, idiot! The governor's son. Like father, like son. Yeah, yeah. The governor's son. Like father, like son. Yeah, yeah. Go to a born sheep. It's a useless goat. Yeah, yeah. Sheep we born go to we. It's a useless sheep. Yeah, yeah. The governor's son. Like father, like son. Yeah, yeah. The governor's son. Like father, like son. Yeah, yeah. Go to a born sheep we. It's a useless goat. Yeah, yeah. Sheep we born go to we. It's a useless sheep. Collins. Yeah, yeah. What's your problem? I mean, what is your problem? Are you mad? Are you mad? Don't you know election is by the corner? Don't you know the opposition party is looking for means to tarnish the little image we have left? Don't you know? I'm sorry. It's okay, sit down. Listen, son. In this business, you need to be very rugged. I mean, very rugged. You have to learn to use your head and use it properly to enable us position our gubernatorial candidates for victory in the forthcoming gubernatorial election. Your Excellency, your message is clear. But you need to give me space on this. I want to fish out your enemies and deal with them decisively. I want them to have this fear of what we can do at the back of their minds, always. This is a political matter. This is a political matter. Please don't get me any angrier, please. Please, I beg of you. I'm sorry, Your Excellency. I just have to tell you my mind. I'm your wife for Christ's sake. You don't expect me to jump up and down, dancing around, praising you, while all you do is get so much involved in girls' empowerment. Now, woman, I've always taught you to be a very intelligent person. But you're beginning to give me reason to doubt your intelligence. I remember shortly before I assumed office as governor of the state, you were the one that practically begged me to please include, as part of my policies, the girl child empowerment. So what are you talking about? I did at that time. Not now that everyone is looking for what to talk about. Honey, our opponents are looking for something to use against us. Should be more involved in projects that will alleviate poverty among our people. Not moving around with girls, getting so much involved in beauty pageantry, clubbing all night. I don't even think you want to know what people are saying. I don't care, sweetheart. I don't care what they say. Oh, you will. They are your people. Let them go ahead and say whatever they want to say. Listen, you must know that whether you do or you don't do, people are bound to say whatever they want to say. I don't care, sweetie. Oh, 
Jesus Christ. God help me. Oh. Darling, please take it easy. Nobody forced you to be a great philanthropist. This is what it takes. I know you don't wish I stop, do you? Oh no. You know I'm joking, right? I said, well. But of the truth, the tax is here no more so. I know, darling, I know. This is too much. You know what? God will help us. His name is Jehovah Jireh. God that provides. He knows the massive number of people waiting to be blessed by your benevolence this December. I know. You're right, my angel. Thousands of widows, orphans, less privileged, are waiting for me to bless them this December, as I used to do for several years. Yes. If I fail to provide their needs, cash, dress, food, heart, they will cry and heaven will fall. <laughs> no, God will help me. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. Amen. Well, uh, you see, that's why I'm called the master strategist. Yes, Your Excellency. When you draw a map, even the International Geographic Council obeys it. Mm -hmm. Your Excellency, you are just too much. I, I, I wish your tenure in the office could be extended to last longer than the time it elapses. <laughs> Do you know you've really taught me to understand what it means to work with a guy man? <laughs> You call me a guy, man. That's, <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> well, I'm glad, you know, that a few people um, appreciate my efforts, mm -hmm. especially when it comes to youth empowerment. Yes. Your Excellency, youth empowerment, that is an area where you have so many fans of your policies. And also in the area of empowering beautiful girls. Ah, <laughs> Emilia, you can say that again. <laughs> Your Excellency, that means I, Alphonsus Eze, I have delivered a special advisor on special props and enjoyment logistics. <laughs> <laughs> Not only you, Honorable, me too, as a Commissioner for Women Affairs. <laughs> but I carefully chose you people. <laughs> Very carefully. Yes, Anyhow, I want us to uh, do something a little bit um, away from the usual. Mm -hmm. I want you to organize me a beauty pageant. Okay. You know, girls under 14, 15, you know, 16, you know what I mean? Mm. With small, small tits. Mm. Let's see how it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Especially dudes with their shapes like this. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's there. Hi, yeah. man. <laughs> yeah. Mom, rumor has it that you're not in total support of your husband's efforts in promoting culture and tourism in the state. How true is that? That rumor is baseless. I can clearly tell you that um, I granted an interview to a journalist okay. and stated that I am not very comfortable with His Excellency getting involved in several beauty shows in the state. Okay. Why the state need more? Okay. To alleviate poverty among our people. That's exactly what I told them. Okay. Thank you, Your Excellency. But before you leave, does that mean you buy the idea of people saying that His Excellency, your husband, doesn't have the right kind of advices that will tell him exactly what the needs of the citizens of the state are as priorities? I wouldn't say yes. One thing I don't understand is why young girls are being imported from several states to this state, all in the name of beauty pageantry. Why the state needs programs that will alleviate poverty among our people. Sure. But I will assure you that my husband, His Excellency, 
will do something about all this. Okay. Could you please excuse me? Thank you. We appreciate it. What was it you thought you were doing? Huh? What was it you thought you were doing? Now you listen. Let this be the very last time you will grant such a stupid interview to the press. If you try it next time, you'll be shocked at what I'll do to you. But honey, I've said I'm sorry. It was never my intention to smear your name in the mud. All I said is that your advisors are not doing the right thing at the right time. And what they are my advisors, not yours. I am the governor. I appointed them to leave them to me. This is a political matter. Remember, he keep last, last, last one. Say that today, night will be Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I can hear you. Okay. 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 Okuna for one more. What is your problem? I am talking to you. Allow me to concentrate. Come on. That is Evelyn that's running her mouth, blah blah blah, disturbing everybody in the house. That is a lie, is the one causing the noise. I don't want to know, just allow me to concentrate, please. Yes, I'm sorry, okay? Okay, I'll call back, I'll call back. I'm very happy. Hi. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow. Um. It's like this. So, Daddy, who was that person that arrested you with this call? Hmm. The chairman of Abam State Progressive Union in Thailand. Oh, Thailand? Yeah. Dad, that Thailand of a place, I think that should be the next place we spend our vacation. Shut up. <laughs> Thailand vacation. Let me tell you, you just called to thank me on behalf of Abam people. Mm? That's good. Yeah, towards my efforts in poverty elevation and women capacity development in Nigeria. Ah, that's great, that is. Yeah. So let me tell you, um, I'm always overjoyed when I'm genuinely appreciated for doing anything good. Nice. But all the glory goes to God. Yeah. Daddy. Mm. <laughs> it's okay. Mr. Thailand. Okay. My dear son and very good friend. I want to let you know that I have seriously, seriously considered the discussions I had with your stepmother on the one hand and the discussions I had with you on the other hand, and I want to let you know, son, that I have made up my mind to go ahead and contest the gubernatorial elections of our party, the Democratic People's Movement. And I have decided to do so no matter how fierce and deadly that battle would be. Um, Father? Yes, sir. I can remember vividly that a while ago you told me you were considering stepping down from the race of becoming your party's gubernatorial flag bearer. That's true, sir. Okay, and today you are also the one telling me in succinct terms you want to continue with the race of achieving your goal. That is also true. No problems. Uh, I wouldn't want to be the one against your success within the context of discussion. 
As a matter of fact, I want to promise you, Father, that I will do everything humanly possible to ensure you emerge victorious at the end of the day, no matter whose ox is God. <laughs> Thank you very much, son. Thank you. I pleasure. want to let you know that I really appreciate your support. It's my pleasure, Father. And I'm counting on you. Come on, let's have a drink. Kiss it on. I sneaked in last night. I didn't want to wake you up after my meeting with things. No problem. So how did it go? Very fine, very fine. Okay. He has accepted to support my gubernatorial ambition. Wow. Mm. In spite of his uh, previous uh, stance. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy because charity begins at home. Yes, Darren. United will stand, but divided will fall. Mm -hmm. I'm very much overwhelmed with joy and I'm very much confident. You have the support of about 80% of the citizens of this state to win the forthcoming gubernatorial election and become the next governor of this state. <laughs> yeah, I know. My greatest challenge now is to win the party primaries. And that will require a lot, a whole lot. Don't worry, Darren. You will win. The president has given me his word. He wants to do it to appreciate my late parents for what they did for him. And I'm very ready to spend almost all the billions of naira my late parents willed to me as their only child. Just to see you emerge victorious at the end of the day. I want to become the first lady of this state. And I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> you will be the first lady. <laughs> You will be the first lady of this state. Mm -hmm. Gentlemen, I want to assure you that I have everything worked according to plan. <laughs> according to your plan. <laughs> what is left for us to do is to go out to the field, to the grassroots and achieve victory. Hmm. Total victory. PDM, victory! PDM, victory! Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Your Excellency, I, Honorable Nandi, I'm ready to serve. I know. I am ready to do any work allotted to me, especially in this end part of the battle. Very soon the battle will be over. Of course you will emerge the winner. <laughs> you know I trust you, my brother. <laughs> I trust you. The same thing with me. My governor to be. Just mention the task you have assigned to me, and I shall deliver on it. <laughs> I know you, Honorable Victor. I know you. Thank you very much, sir. Now, I want to assure you that on my own part, as soon as we have achieved victory, total victory, I will not hesitate to reward you immensely. Thank you very much, my governor to be. <laughs> Without wasting any time, Honorable Namdi, Your Excellency, I have decided that you are going to be the manager of my campaign team. <laughs> <laughs> you know I trust you, my brother. Thank you, Your Excellency. Total victory. That's right. <laughs> Honorable Victor. My governor to be. Honorable Victor. My governor to be. <laughs> you are going to be in charge of general logistics. Thank you very much. <laughs> general logistics. Thank you very much. Gentlemen, let us go there. Achieve victory. Total victory. Victory. PDM. Victory. Victory. PDM. Victory. PDM. victory. <laughs> we have it. Let's go. <laughs> Your governor is drunk. Your governor is tipsy. I can't be drunk. Mm. But um, 
tipsy for a reason because of these girls. <laughs> so, um, honorable. Yes, Your Excellency. Easy. Mm, easy. In case I do not wake up tomorrow, be don't think I'm dead. No, not because three of them cannot kill me. No, they cannot, okay? <clears throat> mm. What I want you to do is, please, make available three brand new cars. Oh, plus one billion naira each. Oh, Your Excellency. Your Excellency. <laughs> Let us go. Ah, ah, mm. ah. Easy. See. Ah. Ah. Mm. Honorable. Yes, Your Excellency. I said three brand new cars plus one billion naira each. The state is my state. Mm -hmm. Excellency. The money is my money. Because mm -hmm. let's go. Your Excellency. Your Excellency. Let's go. Gentlemen, all hands on deck. This is when we need every hand on deck. We must ensure total victory. Total victory at the party primaries. We have absolutely no reason to lose our guard at any point in time. Focus. Gentlemen, focus and diligence. That is what we need to show them how prepared we are for this election. PDM! 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 Total victory. Your Excellency, there is no cause for alarm. I and the campaign team have been able to sell your name and your manifesto to the people. We've as well embedded you into the hearts of not only our party members, but the entire citizens of Abam State. Your Excellency, I can now boast. Yes, I can boast because we've doubled our efforts to make sure that success and victory are achieved, as you said. I trust you, my brother. I trust you. <laughs> my governor today, <clears throat> having gone so far in our attempt to win this forthcoming uh, election, there are some things we need to take care of. Those are party stores who are capable of giving us problems on that day. Should be taken care of, if you know what I mean. I know what you mean. I know what you mean, Honorable Victor. One of such people on our list should be Honorable Wankwo. Mm. Wankwo, as far as these primaries are concerned, he stands even a better chance than myself. So what do we do? Get him out of the way and damn the consequences. <gasps> you get ready. At your service, sir.
and why you really have it. Any man that the always gives can never do what? I have a testimony I will give you what one can do. I now remember how God helped the woman that helped me. The woman that put by her power for the house of God to grow. Today God has blessed that family. Yes, Your Excellency, I am getting every point you're making. Good. The bottom line is this, Dr. Maxwell, are you willing to do everything I asked you to do? Yes, Your Excellency. Good. That means that between today and Saturday, there are one or two things you and I are going to do, after which we will now enter the agreement proper. Is that okay about you? No problem, Your Excellency. Right, so just go ahead and celebrate, okay? Because I will not only support you to niche our party's tickets for the next gubernatorial election, but I shall make sure that you sit on this chair as the next governor of the state. <laughs> Thank you very much, Your Excellency. I will forever remain grateful and loyal to you. Small like okay. <laughs> We just have to make hay while the sun shines. There is no gain saying we have a lot of work in our hands right now. All we need to do is to understand the reason why our job seems to be more stressful. Hope I'm communicating. Yes, Your Excellency. Good. Top on the list of the things that need urgent attention is the coded execution of the only man I believe holds the secret that could ruin my husband's governorship ambition. That man needs to be executed as soon as possible before the families. Hope we are together. Yes, Your Excellency. Good boys. I want to thank you guys for the coded execution of the High Chief you carried out yesterday. You guys are just the best. Thank you very much. Thank you, Your Excellency. Good. I have 10 million naira here for the three of you. Just to show appreciation for what you guys did. Here, have it. Thank you, Your Excellency. Thank you, Your Excellency. You're welcome. We all you know what? Action speaks louder than our voice. I trust you guys. Excuse me. This is a political matter. This is a political matter. Hey! Hmm! Come up on the Mukanota, huh? Hmm! I'm not gonna do my bakutawanya zuela to via him. Hmm? 
Honorable, your task is a strong one. But Azangungu have confirmed that you have all it takes to become the next governor of your state. And she is willing and capable to help you succeed in your feet. Please thank her for me. Good. Hey, as na 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 rafi si aka wala abotu. Eh? No kwe ni vwa ya vwa gwa mwa nyasi ya gwa na die. Eh? She said that to whom much is given, much is expected. I know. Eh? As a gungu. Eh? Tonya inu kwa wata. Eh? Ye mwa kwa nugri ya drama. Ne inu inu. Ne isi isi. Mane ti nye nubo me wubo wata wata wata. <laughs> there are some rituals you need to perform so that your way will be open. Permit me to say my mind and the mind of that Bansipo's forum in Iraq. We all decided that I should come down to Nigeria and deliver this message directly to you, Dark. And we have a dream. And we want to translate that dream into reality. So, Dark, we want you to come out and rescue our state from accelerating into total collapse and unavoidable state of anarchy. We want you as a next governor. Doc, we want you to come out and contest. Our assurance is that we're going to rally around you and then sponsor you. That's our assurance. Because um, we want our own person on the seat of the governor. Not to waste a barrage. That's what we want. Uh, professor, I'm overjoyed. But I won't talk now. I won't talk now. I won't talk now. Just take a look at this. Oh, this is nice. An award of excellence presented to Dr. Peter, Peter Oji. <laughs> well, that this is good. This is good. And uh, back to what we are saying, I think this is a golden opportunity, and you shouldn't allow it to slip through your fingers. Yes, Daddy is right. But Daddy, you have to forget about all what your colleagues by saying the vineyard of God. You're truly a man of God, Daddy. Daddy, you have to go into politics genuinely to correct all the ills in this society. <laughs> or are you trying to say that it's now a sin for a man of God to go into active politics? To save his people from misrule? No, of course. I strongly believe that what this state and this country need now is capable, kind-hearted men of God to rescue their people. But me, I am not ready to go into politics now. Dad, you need to have a refrain, Daddy, why? Because this is a nice opportunity. You people should talk to him more. I am not ready now. Your Excellency, sir, my able governor to be, I, Honorable Dr. Mrs. Cynthia Abel, know what I want and exactly how to get it. Your Excellency, all I require from you is an urgent attention to my department when necessary. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Like she said, um, very, very ready to work and to deliver. My able governor to be, come primaries and the main elections. Actually, Mrs. Veronica here, 
told me something of which I would be glad if she would be able to say it here herself. Thank you very much. Okay. Mrs. Veronica, let's hear you out. Oh, yes. Oh, Your Excellency, sir, as a seasoned accountant that I am, I am of the opinion that a team of credible party leaders who are on our side should be selected to oversee the keeping of all our financial records as concerns the nation generally. My humble opinion, sir. I agree. Thank you for the good advice. Thank you. Thank you. Um, gentlemen and ladies, we will have to close this meeting because there are so many other people waiting outside and we need to talk to everybody. <clears throat> we don't have time. You agree? No time, we have to move fast. So everybody can return to their assigned um, duties. But um, Okay, we are going to make available money to you. Money so that you go back and mobilize all the women, all women in the remaining local government areas. Slide. This is for your department. Remember, total victory. Focus, diligence, that's what we need. We must deliver. We must. Madam, this for your department and then, um, um, no. Uh, Madam, you will wait behind and discuss the details of your proposal with the campaign chairman. Huh? So, people, let's go out there and achieve total We want Pitaji, we need change. 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 I must tell you, it is a thing of joy for notable men of God in this state to be planning to send a high power delegation mm. to come and meet our daddy, mm. yes, Dr. Sir. Peters. Yes, sir. Hmm? I mean, to see reasons with him. Yeah. It is a set time for him to come out and liberate his people from the shackles of bad governance. Yes. You're right, Pastor Matthew. You know, the Bible says in Ecclesiastes, there is time for everything. Yes. And I believe this is the time for the true change we have been praying for all this while. Yes, so. And I just pray it doesn't fail them. I pray it doesn't turn down their request. Uh, I pray too. After doing same to several well-meaning groups that have so far met him on that. I pray too. I'm scared. Oh, well, let's see how it goes. I pray too. Yeah. We don't have a choice here. There is no two ways about this. The campaigns are becoming both fierce and more cash demanding by the day. I know. Therefore, we need to start spending more money. And mind you, I wouldn't want anything at all to stop you from winning the primaries and going ahead to win the main election. Nothing will stop me. I will win the primaries. And nothing will stop me from winning the elections. Look, we belong to the best party. And the people of this state know why they have to vote out the ruling party. Okay. Don't worry. Good. Therefore, we need to start spending more money. In fact, we need to share three times whatever amount of money other candidates share to the delegates that will come for the primaries. Because I know they must lobby. It's a political matter. 
This is a political matter. They say politics is a dirty game. But no, politics is for the faithful. But no, politics is honorable. But no, politics is truthful. Calling. Nadia. What's the matter? Nothing. You were okay before I went upstairs. Why are you still pacing around? I am okay. No, you're not. I you're am... not. You're not. Please come. I'm okay. I'm okay. No, I'm okay. I'm okay, my sweetheart. Are you still worried that I'm not having enough to give out this Christmas? Yes. Oh, my darling. You don't have to kill yourself over this issue. Sweetheart, for several years now, you've been spending hundreds of millions of naira to support your foundation. If you don't have enough to meet up with the pressure this year, I think we should cut off some people from the lashes on this Christmas. Please, sweetheart. No. No, we can't produce those things we used to do for the poor widows. Hmm? Or farms. Less privileged. Disabled ones. Instead to reduce them, we increase them. Although the demand is much, I wouldn't mind selling some of the landed properties and do them. God is faithful. I'm expecting a miracle that will turn things around for the best. Amen. Just watch and know my God. He will do it. Amen. I will reduce them. Agreed. Okay. I will increase them. Yes. God bless you. <laughs> quite obvious and certain that we all have not paid our school fees and we don't even have the possible means of paying it. The way I'm looking at things, I sense danger. I suggest that we should seek an urgent and proactive solution to our present predicaments before they throw us out of the school. What do you say? First of all, I thank God and every one of us here for making this gathering possible, you know, to discuss our present predicament because it's really, really affecting us badly. Um, I think I support what she just said. Yeah. It's still in time they say saves nine. All of us here are ESCO members of the union of all the less privileged secondary school students and other brilliant students they are still under the scholarship scheme of Peter's Foundation. So I believe that about 2,000 or more students' fate lies in our hands. So I think we should put our hands together and think out a solution to the problem because it's really, really affecting us. Well, we all have spoken well, but my question still remains, what do we do right now? I mean, that's the main reason why we are here. Prayers, I mean prayers. I thank God all of us here are Christians who believe in the miraculous power of God. Therefore, I suggest we conduct a short prayer and a fasting exercise and beg God to help us by blessing our sponsor, Dr. Peter Oji, miraculously, and make the government to release all his goods that we are seized and unfreeze his bank account that was frozen due to selfish reasons. My sister, you just made a point. We need to seek the face of God immediately because God knows how many children that innocent man has been taking care of for several years now and can't afford not to hear our prayers and turn things around for good. <laughs> Please, I suggest we involve the union of all the tertiary institution students that are all also under the scholarship skill to make it a one house. That is my own point of view. Please, can I ask a question? Yes. How sure are we that our other colleagues will want to join us in doing this? Yes, I believe they will. Are you Please. sure? Two prayers. Please. Please. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, if you say so. My dear people of Abam State, I want to use this medium to crave your indulgence. To please bear with me and my cabinet 
regarding the present economic situation confronting the state. We are not happy that things are the way they are. But I can assure you that we are working tirelessly to make sure that the backlog six month salaries owed to the workers are paid. At the same time, I am also using this medium to warn politicians in the states to desist from making unguarded statements that might incite people. As my government will not take it kindly with anybody found call people. Thank you. May God bless the good people of Abam State and may God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Wow, you are really God sent. Yes, of course. Sir, people like you are very rare to find on this planet Earth. God sent you especially to help the poor. I mean, who in this present Nigeria will go out of his way to use what I term his last penny to help the poor and decide to go hungry himself? I've never seen. Hmm. Mm. I appreciate you for commanding me. But the problem is this. I can't do without helping the poor. I can't do without providing for them. As I can. But I believe that that is the reason why God is keeping me today. Let me share this morning with you. Years back, when I was traveling to worry, I had an accident. Take care of him. Jesus Christ. I can't believe this. Do you know that they put my dead body in a mortuary for over 26 hours? What? Haha. <laughs> well, look at me here today, David. Can you see what God can do? Wow, indeed, sir. God really loves you. Indeed. But the only way I can appreciate God is to make myself an instrument to provide for the needy. The little I can. And I believe so much that the, it was the cry, the combined cries of the poor widows and orphans that forced God to bring me back to life. Do you see my reason now? Thank you, Jesus. May his name be praised. Amen. Let me get you a bottle of brandy. What for? So you could take like two shots, get a bit gingered, and get on the same level of swagger with me. I am an action lady. 
I agreed to marry you because I knew how rugged you were. I don't like it when you dull my spirit. So, I need to get high to know what to do, right? Hmm? That is not what I'm talking about. I just want you to open your eyes and see what is happening. Double your momentum and breeze up to the challenge. But that is what I've been doing. Is that not why I said, let us send the two kids abroad? So we can have time for the elections to battle my opponents. My love, so what haven't you thought of anything we could do to that man that is anyway reviews? We need several merit awards. His popularity is giving me sleepless nights. How are you sure the present state government decides to cash in on that and try redeeming the bad image of their decaying party by making him his gubernatorial flag bearer? Listen, Dr. Peter Oji is a true man of God. He has no business in politics. Besides, the governor has Chief Maxwell Igwe as his preferred candidate for their party primaries. This is a political matter. Honorable Eke, that one falls within your jurisdiction as the head of logistics of my cartel. Yes, my governor to be. I'm working around the clock to come out with my findings and I've employed enough manpower to do a very important job for me. Please do, because we need to urgently find out what is fishy about the present governor's giving of an award of excellence to Dr. Peter yesterday at the government house. You are right, my governor to be. That comes immediately after the same Dr. Peter Oji publicly rejected an appointment being given to him by the governor as the Commissioner of Environment. Honey, without any iota of doubt, I am suspecting the governor is trying to draw the man of God closer to him so that he can use him to replace you. You know, after the recent disagreement you both had uh, over some issues. Let all hands be on deck. We need to unravel what is going on. No dead, my governor to be. This is a political matter. Sam? I know what I'm doing. You see, Dr. Peter, I'm only using him to make Dr. Maxwell or Domingue sit up. Dr. Peter Oji, as far as I'm concerned, is not going to run for governorship. He will not. Neither is going to run for any political office. He won't. Because of his profession. A man of God? I don't care. Oh yes, I don't care. All I want is Dr. Maxwell to be coerced, forced, to sign a pact that I will be his commissioner of finance once he becomes governor. That's my boy. But of course, you know, that's very, absolutely very necessary. Very, very necessary. Especially now that he's been shaken by the rumors making the rounds. You see what I mean, colleagues? When I tell you to make use of your head, there you go. You're now beginning to make very good use of your head. <laughs> <laughs> Darling. Yes, dear. I advise you pick Dr. Peter Oji as your running mate after winning the primaries. That man is a very sellable candidate as far as this state is concerned. Yeah, I know. I know that, um, Dr. Peter Oji is a good choice, but... Um... But what, my love? I want to become the first lady of this state by all means. And I don't need any excuses from you at all. Please. If it is about getting Dr. Peter Oji to accept the offer, don't worry. I will help you do that. Please. Listen, you know 
it's a political party and the party has its own way of selecting who becomes a running mate to the gubernatorial candidate. That's how it's done. Hmm? <laughs> but um, <laughs> never mind, never mind. We'll, we'll work it out. How may I help you? I want to see Dr. Peter. Tell him Mrs. Lovely, Dr. Vitalis's wife, is here to see him. Okay. Good. He said he's very busy now with the work of God. That he will not be able to see you now. That you should come back tomorrow or in the evening. Can you imagine? Did you tell him the caliber of person here to see him? Yes, I did. Excuse me. Good day, Pastor Peter. Good day, Pastor. This one, you are here in this manner, myself. Everyone is safe, except otherwise proven. Okay, that is good. Did you send your pastor here to tell me you weren't disposed to see me? 
Yes, I do. Why? After I informed you I was coming to have a discussion with you? I'm sorry. I don't know how very busy this time. But I can see I have a lot of safe people around and I need to attend to. So what are you saying in essence? I'm saying I have to do the work of God first. If I tell it, then it the camera. Man, that was a public disgrace of the highest order. Jesus, a common pastor, insulting a governorship as parent's wife like me. Jesus, a billionaire's daughter. Oh my God. Calm down, darling. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Sit down. Calm down. Hmm? Sit down. Sit down. Hmm? Listen. Things like this happen. Especially in politics, that's how politics is. When you seek the support of diverse people, that's what happens. Hmm? Calm down. We will find a way out of it. We will work out something. Don't worry, that's how politics is. This is a political matter. This is a political matter. The same politics is a dirty game. Dr. Vitalis, what do I owe this unexpected visit? You owe me an explanation. Explanation? Yes. So what explanation if I may ask? Now listen, Honorable Wanko. I want you to recall the energy and the finances that I put, I mobilized other members of our party to make you the secretary of our party. And I want you to know that I am the most prominent of all those contesting these primaries. And I'm most likely going to be the next governor of this state. And I want you to note too that your success Largely depends on me as the state secretary. Yes. Oh, I see. Yes. I see. That's why you have grown wings suddenly, right? I will have you know that I do not need any iota of your support to win these elections. You will see. I don't bloody care. Go to hell! Vitalis, I don't... Hold it! Hold it. Go to hell for I care, Vitalis. You will learn a bitter lesson from me. What? Now, do I make myself clear? Yes, boss. I don't want you to make mistakes at all. Hmm? And there should be no trace in any way. Hmm? Boss, you know, this is not the first time we've been doing this kind of assignments. Boss, so I have my voice waiting. So I'm um, right. going to be strike. Just immediately. Immediately. Hmm? No right. wasting of time. No wasting of time at all. No, hmm? problem. no problem. Like I said, you have to do your best. Do your best. No problem. Hmm? No problem. That's all right. Move. My dear beautiful people of Wabam State, I am excited, very excited to let you know that for the very first time in the history of our great nation, Nigeria, our great state, our beautiful state, shall be hosting for the very first time the Miss Intercontinental Beauty Contest. 
If you remember, this is part of my resolve during my campaign, that I shall attract events that will bring in people into the states. Well, this happens to be one of them. You will also agree with me that this will help generate funds for the states to help ameliorate the sufferings of our people brought about by the present economic recession facing our dear country. Thank you, my dear people of Abam State, and God bless you. The governor's son, like father, like son, yeah, yeah. The governor's son, like father, like son, yeah, yeah. Go to a bomb ship. Yes, Mr. President called me. Yeah, well, they said what he said. That, uh, the oil is in my state. They have no choice. <clears throat> Anyhow, it's okay. I'll, uh, yes, I'll still come, okay? I will. It's all right. Nice stuff. In my regards to you. Bye bye. Daddy, daddy. Come to excuse me, both of you. Eh? Hey. What's wrong with you? You look so excited. The baddest daddy in the country. <laughs> in fact, shut up. Guy man. What's the meaning of that? Yeah, what, what, what's, what's the meaning of that name you just called me? <laughs> you my guy man. What's the, what, what sort of name is that? Oh. Daddy, I know what this is all about. Know what? Beauty party. Well, so you know, yeah, so? Dad, I know you just need fresh new girls to enjoy yourself with. I'm not like you. You flock around with all these young little girls. Daddy, daddy. Abuja, daddy. Just go away, please. Like father, like son. <laughs> daddy of life. Baddest daddy in the country. The governor's son. Like father, like son. Yeah, yeah. The governor's son. Like father, I've like never son. seen an elderly man as stupidly wicked as the present governor of this state. In terms of how he deals with girls on a daily basis, he's so annoying. With all due respect, I know I don't like Governor Okonta as a person and as a governor. But please, I beg to disagree with you on this. Ellen, why do you say so? The blame should rather go to the gullible young girls who can go extra mile to get money from the governor and his cohorts. You see, most of those girls employ diabolic means to get these old rich men to themselves. But what do you expect? And look, what do you expect from them? When all the government will offer to the poor masses is only but poverty and hunger. There was no way to survive. Yes. I think I quite agree with the both of you. You have points there. Those girls need orientation. Reorientation and sensitization. Of course. That is why we of the People Democratic Movement wants to host the present inept and clueless administration in the first coming election. That is the task that must be accomplished. We must see how we will really use the governor's concentration on the pointing girls' voters to work against him and his party during our campaigns. Eyes are always on this part. <laughs> so I think that would be the best for me to organize the summit. <laughs> so fast. I need to know that.
this man is down. The driver. Oh, this is a political matter. Suda, please, can we just forget about this and move on? Hon, are you saying that if I say something that will be detrimental to us, I should just overlook it? That's not what I'm saying. Then what are you saying? What I'm saying is that I do not need to lose sleep over this. I trust Dr. Maxwell Odomi where I trust him. Okay? And I carefully chose him to be my candidate, my preferred candidate, to sit here as the next governor after very careful thoughts. Hon, did you say trust? I don't know why my mind refused to accept him. Something tells me that he will not keep to whatever agreement you had with him. Well, I'm afraid I'm going to disappoint you for the very first time. I did my homework very well, and I can bet it that he will never disappoint me. I had a little discussion the other day with Maxwell and his wife. He said something that makes me think he has some reservations about you. And what was it he said? Honey, let's, uh, let's forget that for now. Sweetheart, why don't you choose the man of God, Dr. Pitoji? God is using him mightily in this state. He heals the sick, the barren get pregnant, the blind see. I think he's more sellable than Maxwell. Sweetheart, so that, so it's okay, all right? This decision is mine. And I just told you I have chosen Dr. Maxwell Odubiwe. So why didn't you just leave it at that? Please? Oh, please go get me water to drink. Thank you. This is a political matter. This is a political uh, matter. I want to thank you. I don't have to thank you for all your efforts. <laughs> all right, woman, go. Despite all that happened to you, you still stood your ground and fought for your rights as the state secretary of our great party. <laughs> Once again, thank you. Thank you for deciding to support me, even as I do everything within my reach to win this governorship primaries. It is my pleasure. Mm. Uh, Honorable Victor. You don't worry. Hmm? I tell you something. In politics, there is no permanent friend. Yes. There is no permanent enemy, but permanent interest. <laughs> you see, at the time, I, I was greatly in support of Dr. Vitalis. But I found him not worthy of it. You are the man. <laughs> Listen to me. Yours is better because you have me win the primaries. It's close by. Thank you very much. Thank you. Once again, just have it in mind. I have your back. <laughs> I am ready to join forces with you to fight our common enemy, to crush you. the person of Dr. Vitalis. will crush you. I assure you that I am so, so, so glad. <laughs> we shall bring him down. This it's is Vitalis, right? a political matter. This is a political matter. Your Excellency, I am not saying it's a difficult task for me to appoint Honorable Collins as the Commissioner for Youth and Sports Development in my administration. If I eventually win and become the next governor. So what are you then trying to say? That you're not prepared to sign the agreement? Is it? With all due respect, Your Excellency, Honorable Collins here is my very good friend. And I see him as my younger brother. So why don't you want me to be part of your cabinet? Um, I'm afraid, Your Excellency, without any attempt to castigate your son, about 90% of the masses of this state hold a bad record of him. His present reputation is questionable. Therefore, I suggest we do not rush into giving him any position for now. Maybe along the line, 
when the anger of the people must have reduced, then we can put him in the scheme of things. Are you mad? Dr. Maxwell, are you mad? How dare you talk to me about my son like that? Huh? Excuse me, Dad. I can't stand this. Every night, it's kind of a no high tire. It they chop money like a thief, oh. It's kind of a no high tire. Civil service in no payment. It's kind of a no high tire. Bad road in no consign, oh. It's kind of a no high tire. This government in a jaga jaga one, oh. Every night, it's kind of a no high tire. It they chop money like a thief, oh. It's kind of a no high tire. Civil service in no payment. It's kind of a no high tire. Bad road in no consign, oh. It's kind of a no high tire. This government in a jaga jaga one, oh. It's kind of a no high tire. This government in a jaga jaga one, oh. 